the Tektronix AFG 3022B two channel waveform generator. I have it set up to four microseconds, two volts peak to peak, with a high impedance because we're going out to the scope, which does have one mega ohm impedance. That is all adjustable in the setup. I'll go through some of the things in a second, but I wanted you to see this first. Uh, and so you can see over here, we've, as I said, four microseconds, two millivolts. I've got the scope set to one volt per division and two microseconds. So that would give us two volts for the or two volts total. So that would be two divisions set at one volt per division, which it is. And at that setting, uh, two microseconds should be two divisions wide from peak to peak, which it is. As we cycle through these different waveforms, you'll see them appear on the scope. So I'm going to go do first, it's at the sine wave now, then I'm going to go to square, then I'm going to go to ramp and pulse, which actually looks like square. So those are the main waveforms. If you uh, watch the scope, I'll cycle through them. And they're all set to the same amplitude and frequency. So there's the square. And there's the ramp and the pulse, which looks like square. I'm going to go back to sign. Just to give you a brief, there's all your menu instructions are here. And if you can see that display here, you can cycle through things to change them. Uh, for instance, the uh, this one here, if I do that, it gives you the different uh, choices that you would have. As you can see, this is highlighted here uh, at four. If you change the uh, jog here, it'll it'll increase. And at the same time, you can see the change occurring on the scope. Go back to the top menu, I can hit amplitude. And I can do the same thing and I can increase or, or decrease the amplitude of the waveform. That's the basic functionality. It has a built-in self-test when it powers on. It also has uh, integral self-testing diagnostics that you can run, and it also has an internal calibration. I've run both of those, and they've both passed. As you can see here are channels. We have channel one, channel two. I have channel one on. I can go to channel two, turn channel one off, move my scope lead over, and as you can see on the scope, we've changed according to that output. And it follows the same pattern. Power switch is here. We have other outputs, inputs, and on the rear there are, are also uh, other things in case those are of use to you. It will come with uh, manuals for both operational and service. Tektronix AFG 3022B dual channel waveform generator has a power on self test it also has a self test and a diagnost uh, diagnostic built in and a self calibration uh, both of them have been done and passed on this unit um, got it set up to go output to a uh, scope and I've got it set for high impedance because the scope is high impedance and I've got it set for four microseconds uh, uh, for the period and an amplification of two volts peak to peak. And if you look at the scope, you can see I've got it set to one volt per division, so we're at two volts. And I've got it set to two microseconds per division, and it's set for four, so we're at two divisions, which all match up. 
You can also change that with the jog button, which as you can see changes the waveform on the scope. You can also look at different waveforms such as the square and triangular. and pulse. You know, back to back to sign. Comes with both operational manual and the service manual. And all functions that that you would want to do can be done through the menu or through through the keyboard. It's all explained in the manual.